Chavez with wreaths of blithering babble. Also, British politician George Galloway, who considers Chavez a modern-day Spartacus. This is George on a TV show pretending to be a cat. Would you like me to be the cat? Yes, please. That's yummy. Delicious. Good girl. Good girl. You just weird. And he won re-election. He's a modern-day Garfield. But the winner in the Chavez Drivel Olympics... The nobody at the nation who wrote this. The biggest problem Venezuela faced during his rule was not that Chavez was authoritarian, but that he wasn't authoritarian enough. Tell that to the dead. While it's rude to bag on the dead man, it's more off-putting to lionize a bad man. At its heart is bile for America. The default cliche that infects all lefties, Hugo, was David to our Goliath. Even though this Dave stole billions of dollars, fostering a murder rate that dwarfs Chicago's. When Oliver Stone and Sean Penn weep over a man who demonized America, their message is simple. We agree with them. What perverted minds these celebrities have. It's like the women who fall in love with killers on death row. In the end, it's all about the desperately low opinion they have of themselves, an opinion we all share. The equation seems to be, I'm a piece of crap, so I have to fall in love with someone who also sees me as a piece of crap. Is Fact nice. is, Hugo was the least popular Hugo since the Yugoslavian national vehicle. Maybe all these Hollywood ghouls should be forced to drive them just to remind themselves what amazing tools they truly are. KG, you were yes. bellowing during my monologue. Yeah, because it was so weird. It was a little rough, but uh, there were good parts, too. Uh, why, why is it cool for the left wing to embrace thugs uh, when it's they know cool. that these people do terrible things? This guy left his country in poverty while pilfering billions of dollars, and he's still considered a hero? Well, that's the problem. And Kim Jong-un saying, why can't I only just get Dennis Rodman from the 80s to show up? Why am I being rejected by the Hollywood left? Because he's saying, what did I do so bad compared to this guy? I mean, it makes no sense, and I don't understand how they think this is helping their cause, their cause celeb, or making them look good. It's not. And it's besides cool. that, Chavez has been dead since last Wednesday at 11 a.m. Really? You believe that? Yes. He's been dead for a week? That wasn't the first report came out. Oh, really? I had no idea. Were they hoping to like, they already, bring him back to life or perhaps something? Perhaps stranger things have happened, but, what, what, uh, and what's your, what's, democracy's not going to happen there, not anytime soon. And they your, already know who's your, going to be the president, and it's all, it's all taken care what's, of. What's your Ouija board telling you about it's Fidel? Ouija board. It's Were Ouija they board. trying to get a stunt double, KG? Someone who looks yeah. just like him, like, you know, in uh, Edward James the Olmos. parents when the cat disappeared. But exactly, but Gutfeld Edward James just James Would be good. Hey, I want to read this. This is the lead from the Huffington Post, Juan. My favorite line, Hugo Chavez was a man of many talents. He played ball, sang songs, pulled out pistols, and got down and groovy. And that is precisely how we'll remember the Venezuelan leader. Is that precisely how we'll remember him, really? <laughs> now, you know what, though? I mean, clearly, he had tremendous populist skills in Venezuela. I mean, he's a Great popular, politician, terrible leader. Well, he's a tremendous politician, so, I mean, let's be fair. And I must say, poverty rates in Venezuela went down. But here's Murder my, rates down to skyrocketed. What? No, no, poverty <laughs> rates went down. Down to what, Venezuela. 80%? And, but it, no, I think they took more advantage of oil revenue. And in fact, you know, the Kennedy brothers and all with the mm -hmm. deal here in the U.S., I mean, they embarrassed themselves. But my point is, you got dictators like Chavez, like Fidel Castro, and mm -hmm. to my mind, they... The, the left falls in love with these guys without understanding that they, in fact, corrupt. Right. They corrupt life in those countries. And, you know, I'm not going to take away from Hugo Chavez on the day he dies. He was a populist leader. He's popular. There are front page pictures today of people he's crying. Over. People that but to my mind, the guy. poor in those countries are ill served mm -hmm. by dictators who claim people's lands, who oppress people, and, as you point out, kill people. Mm -hmm. Let's start out with killing the rumor. There is absolutely no truth to the rumor that President Obama is going to go to Venezuela and take over the dictatorship. Oh, there. He's, doing, he's doing the exact same thing here, he and he realizes that in Venezuela there are no term limits, so he can do it forever. That's absolutely uh, categorically untrue. Mm -hmm. Juan, to your points that we're all wrong, the murder rate is a thousand times higher in Venezuela. I didn't than say the murder there. rate. I oh, said let the me poverty finish. rate let went finish. down. Poverty they're not poor because they're dead. What it is here. No. They're not poor they're dead. The uh, poverty rate is double what is 30 Have percent of the country lives in poverty how about this one? it was more before him how about this one there's 300 <laughs> billion barrels of oil reserves in in venezuela if you value that every single venezuelan should be worth 1.1 million bucks but they're living in abject poverty um Somewhere around 30% of the country lives on less than $2 a day. I don't know what the left finds really cool about what Chavez has done in Venezuela. Nothing good. Well, but then guys like Sean Penn and Mike Moore should just well, shut well, up. Well, wait a minute. Greg, 
According to Larry King, he's really huggable. Oh, yes. Remember when Larry King said he's really huggable? I mean, that should count for something. He was a little roly-poly. He had a bit of a belly. I mean, but what? He was a teddy bear. He right was a big though, teddy bear, a big dictator teddy bear. But Juan, you're, you're wrong about the oil, actually. When he came into power, he transformed the national oil company. Yes. They were producing much less oil. He's leaving $2 billion in profit of his own. But what is most dangerous is he gave away $150 billion of the profits to Bolivia. He gave them to... Um, um, the, the Castro brothers, he gave them to Evo Morales, to Daniel Ortega in Nicaragua, well, all to fund his ideological dictatorship. I, Same thinking. Wait, look, I didn't say anything but wrong. Guess what, what I'm saying he said to you he's is he's actually taken the profits and exactly, done better with He nationalized he much it. of that oil industry with the idea that he the money would the go not barrels. only to the poor in his country, but to people around Latin America. He was standing in defiance of the United States and saying, we're independent, but we're our so own people. You know, but I don't think he served his people well worse. as a dictator. Let's just so you know. The general is going to be in charge. He's going to, Cabello, who's going to come in, and he's uh, getting together with the vice president, and they've already got this locked up. Mark my words, it's coming. Well, I just want to, uh, before we break, Venezuelan-owned oil refiner Sitco uh, flew the flags outside its Houston offices at half staff on Wednesday. Out of respect for Hugo Chavez, that gives me gas. <laughs> All right, coming I up. I can tell. Sorry, Andrea. <laughs>